How's it going guys? This is a slightly earlier and uh, more frequent video than usual and I'll be doing another video today as well but this one is hot off the block breaking news 2-6. Hot on the presses! <laughs> it's out. -da 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 -da. This is this, everybody get your hands -da 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 -da. in the air. <laughs> this is big news guys. This is huge news. If you are like me and you've been having terrible talisman luck uh, you know what, let, let's talk about everything because some people might not even know the uh, the nuances behind the sort of uh, the bugs that are happening in the system right now. And, and I've had so many messages and DMs and comments off of you guys saying about the tables and about the bugs and this and that. Let's let's talk about all of it. Two six. Do you want to do you want to start it off because you know you know how this all works as well. It's too early for this. Why are you putting me on the spot? You can start with this one. <laughs> I'll, all right, I'll start <laughs> it off. So... I woke up. I'm just excited for the news. Like, and this man's like, <laughs> the hey, news. explain the, the system, uh, how pseudo RNG works in video games and all of that. Go on. <laughs> we basically just like woke up not that long ago, guys. Yeah. You know, we're doing our, our morning stuff, getting videos made, and we're like, <gasps> breaking news. <laughs> so... <laughs> Basically, the way the talismans are in the game, as you know, you guys have probably watched me open hundreds of talismans by now. Uh, you have the different types of like melding options, uh, and the way that it's like would be nice if it worked, and it's sort of everyone believes it was supposed to work, is that you do a meld and you get a random talisman with random skills and random slots on it, right? Uh, it was well, previously well, confirmed. People assume sorry, that. Say, um, based on the different melding options as well, you would have a higher chance of getting a particular higher rarity uh, charm as well. So if you did the yeah. me meld of like Rebirth or the meld of the, the Wisp, Wisp meld, of mystery. you get like a higher chance. But that essentially wasn't the case and uh, Paradise is going to elaborate on what actually was the system happening behind. Yeah, so it was previously confirmed that there was a bug which... Um basically got you stuck in like a loop where you got the same talismans like uh, the same talismans in like a 48 loop or something like that that will i think realistically that was only a few people because i've not heard of many people with that bug or bug although people have had that bug and that, that's a terrible one to have if you had that bug it's kind of like you just can't meld right uh but furthermore from that uh there's been loads of data gathered from uh everyone in the community people joining together and working together because people i think people were noticing hey you got the same talis the exact same talisman that I got on my save, and, and other people were like, oh, but this guy got the same talisman I got, and I didn't get your talisman. So there was, like, confusion, and there was a community effort, and everyone came together and essentially mapped out uh, what the roles that they were getting for hundreds and hundreds of talisman roles. And what they sort of discovered uh, through the community is that there was several set different tables where... Uh, people were getting the same talisman roles as, as other people if you were in that table, which was supposedly uh, seeded when you made your save game. So at a top level, what that meant is as soon as you made your save game, you were locked into a talisman table and you were you would only get those exact talismans in that exact order. And if you were one of the unlucky few, which I actually know some of you guys in the comments are because you've told me, uh, you might be in what people are calling the gout table, uh, which is the worst they got table the sickies, to be in. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You got that nasty table, man. <laughs> Tell me about the gout table too. Have you looked at it? You you know what it I is. I haven't looked at it, but I know that the gout table was like windproof and uh, two witness exploit, which is okay, but there's other weakness exploit gems out there. So you can get weakness exploit with a bunch of slots, better skills under the in the secondary slot as well. So if you weren't able to get like a weakness exploit or any of the other gems that you consider to be like meta or really good such as like the, the shot types or uh, anything that might be, allow you to kind of alleviate wearing a piece of armor that you would necessarily have to have worn because it has those particular skills on it like spio or a um one of the vike ones that have like some shot type on it then uh it would not being able to do that meant that mm -hmm. you you're gonna have a hard time on the game and not necessarily have that yeah. that build diversity and variability and you're kind of losing out or part of the game yeah. that doesn't mean Hugely. even if they do fix this that you will get those charms but at least you stand a chance of doing it and yeah, you kind of increase exactly. your chances the more that you play as well so yeah it literally meant that if you were in the gout table or one of the other tables that you that you've had like basically a zero percent chance of getting like 
a particular talisman that isn't in that table that you wanted, such as like the, the crit boost weakness exploit or the attack boost weakness exploit or the uh, attack attack boost quick sheath that some people are getting because they're in like the really good table, whereas other people are in like the gout one and they're getting like windproof and stuff like that, you know. Um, I actually, this is another interesting thing as well. Uh, I'll link it in the description as well. Obviously, uh, we'll talk about the news and that this is basically all getting fixed, guys, and we'll go over all of that sort of stuff. But in the description below, there'll be a site to uh, game with, uh, which I have checked my, my own one as well. You guys have been messaging me like crazy about it, uh, where you can basically input your last talismans that you got and it will tell you which table you're in um and because obviously there's there's so much data out there i according to my talismans i'm not in any of those tables so there are more tables that haven't been mapped out by the community so you might not know what table you're in but if if you do that check you'll know if you're in the gout table that's not even or the really good relevant table. is it now though that's the thing because it. they're fixing well, it well you've got You've you probably got a few days uh, of, of, of until it gets fixed when the next patch comes out, right? A few days so of let's gout. <laughs> yeah. So check what table you're in. If you're in the bad table, stop <laughs> rolling talismans. If you're in the really good table, though, you better start rolling really mm. quick because you could get some really good ones. Um, and let's talk about the news though, because this is this is the heart off the block. All right. uh, issues regarding the melding pot two six. Take it away. All right, read it out, Paradise. Let's go. Let's see this. What's, what's going on? All right, here? so from top to bottom, yeah. uh, they say, we have confirmed a bug with for some players when using the melding pot. It's interesting wording there. 2.6, you pointed this out to me as well. Because they say the melding pot, that sort of suggests all the whole, melding, right? The holistic, like, whole thing, like, not necessarily just the Whisper Mystery, which they're referring yes. to in the bug down below. Uh, the, that's obviously the Whisper Mystery bug was the repeating uh, talismans that you used to get. So anybody that yes. um, has that issue, that's also going to be fixed in this Actually, they don't even say it's, that, do they? They're well, they say, say this will be fixed in version 2.0, which will be, be released at the end of April. So yeah. that's in at least a few days to mm. a week. Uh, we're, we're coming up towards the end of April now. So yeah. uh, at some point uh, near the end of April, we don't know exactly when. Uh, basically, it'll probably be when the update drops with uh, with Apex, Rathalos, and um, Camellios. You know, it'll probably yeah. be all in the same update, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, so then furthermore, it says, please note that the game was not designed to turn out the same specific talismans based on your save data. And this is the big line. This literally is essentially saying, you're not meant to have a seed that's made as soon as you save your game that defines what table you're in, which is how it's working right now. Hence the website where you can check what table you're in and the gout table and everyone's getting terrible rolls or everyone's getting good rolls, this kind of stuff. So that's literally saying, we didn't mean for it to be like this. And they're going to fix it at the end of the month, right? And then they say, we apologize for the inconvenience. Please wait until version 2.0 patch, which they said before is at the end of April. So, 2.6, it's going to, they're going to change it. I'm going to be able to get good talismans again. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was just thinking about it as you're reading. You know what it is as well? The mm. people that were in the good table just finessed all the good charms. Because you could repeat it like... In a cycle, right? It's a cycle to, of 2,000. So if you had grinded it out and got like 2,000 talismans, which is kind of nuts, and you should, I don't know if that's healthy amount of playing, but um, <laughs> <laughs> that's my, what I've done to be fair. <laughs> um, then those people would have just had some bang bang talismans. And now, because the like the pool of talismans is going to be so big, it's going to be harder for people to get those uh, those crazy Very true. god tier talismans that they they want to. But like the fact that we can stand a chance now at getting it yes. is also like huge because standing a chance is better than not having a chance. And uh, yeah, I know there's going to be people out there that are like, oh yeah, charms don't even matter or whatever, but it's nice to have. It's nice to be able to swap out armor parts. It's nice to like have different mix sets for stuff. It's nice to just be uh, uh, knowing that you can attempt to get something good. It's like, yeah. 100%. Now, for me, because it because my table that I'm in right now before this fix hasn't been mapped out by like the community, uh, I'm still just going to keep doing my thing. I'm still going to keep melding. I need the fodder for rebirth anyway, and people haven't mapped out the rebirth ones because it takes 200 talismans to do like a run of 30, and you need to map out hundreds between hundreds of people to actually see the see the trend, you know. So 
if you're like me and you're not in a table, I'm just going to keep going. Maybe there's something good in my table and I haven't got there yet. Uh, but if you're in one of the bad tables, 100%, just wait till wait a week, save up your resources, and uh, you're probably going to be getting some, hopefully, some much better stuff when they fix it and it becomes uh, more randomly based. If if you, we know people in the good table as well, they're like, oh, hey guys, check out my talisman, attack boost three, quick sheath two, or like weakness exploit, attack boost, or some some like crazy good talisman, and we're just like, come on, don't link that to me, you know. <laughs> so that's the biggest change, right? The fact that they've they've come out and said it's not meant to be uh, based on your save day as seed, and it's not meant to be. Uh, you know, predefined tables essentially, and that it's essentially, it's, wording suggests that it's for all of the melding pot. And then, furthermore, they basically confirm that they the bug with the uh, Wisp of Mystery about the, like the looping talismans. Uh, they say they're currently looking into the cause and how to fix it, uh, and that there'll be uh, more notifications soon when they figure out more. And then they apologize for the inconvenience and thank everyone for their patience. Um, but I just think it's really big news because they've they've confirmed what the community has found out. So first of all, like. Criticism's important. <laughs> you guys mapped it out. You guys figured it out, and now they've come out and said, "Yeah, yeah, you, you figured it out. It's not meant to be like this. We're sorry." We're that could have it. been in there for ages without people even knowing. Like th there was just like some real nerdy dude out there that was just trolling the whole tables, just going through. He's like, "Yes, this is it. <laughs> Why have I not got this charm?" <laughs> that that first person must have just been listening at like every table. It must have just been banter for them. Just like. What? Mm. I see a pattern. <laughs> it's like seeing the matrix there. Like, they exactly. see someone else's talisman. They're like, wait a minute. What, what are the what? odds that you got the same talisman as me? <laughs> yeah. And then and, and and then another one the same as me, you know? So yeah. you guys out there, whoever you are, uh, I tip my hat to you. Mm. That is uh, that is a really a really great job. Well done. And as you can see, uh, I definitely think that was in part the reason why they've come out and uh, addressed the issue, confirmed it, and basically said that they're going to be fixing it. So really exciting news, guys. Get ready to hopefully get some good talismans or at least get more random talismans and yeah. not this predefined table. Uh, again, if you want to check your tables until the update drops, the uh, link to the checker will be down below. Uh, and it, uh, just to reiterate, if you are in the bad table, the gout table, or the what was the other one, the the, the Sasuke table, yeah, uh, I think I think was the bad one. If you're in one of those tables, stop melding. It's not worth it. Trust me, there's not really anything worth it in those tables. Just save your resources. Uh, you can it, still get like weakness exploits and some of the other cool gems in there. Just won't have like necessarily the secondly rolled skill. And maybe this is your best chance to get like anything close to like that weakness exploit. So maybe continue to roll but i wouldn't i've stopped rolling uh talismans for a while now because i'm just saving all of my stuff for when the update drops because obviously if our hr unlocks there's going to be a load more monsters in there which probably means there's going to be a load more decorations there's probably going to be a load more talismans that are available that we don't even have as part of the actual current table at the moment so yeah because if there's a if there's a monster that comes out and it's got anything equivalent to hellfire cloak then they're probably going to have to put that onto a, ta a talisman, right? So that we can presume that there's going to be more stuff going on if there is I anything think we, like that. Yeah, I think we can just presume based on yeah. the, the past games uh, DL like free content DLC mm. uh, that when they when they add these new monsters and these new like HR cap increases, they often come with. Uh, new skills like on the monsters armor sets and uh, and different things like that. So Camilus. I think it would make sense to Camellius. Exactly. Camellius is going to turn you invisible. Like he's, he's going to have like <laughs> that... a, a bonus that's like you just disappear. Like <laughs> that would be that would be so sick. I want that. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's the update. There's big news about the about these talisman changes. So I hope this helps. A little PSA for everyone and to let everyone know that yes the, the uh, tables were confirmed and they're going to get fixed. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Thank you for all of the support. We'll be dropping a video later on today as well about Jumpmaster because with the community, we actually have figured out exactly what it does. And uh, let me just it's say- It's the most amazing skill. It's, the, it's 10 out of 10 guys. You need to watch this video. We figured it out. We figured it out. <laughs> I will say no more. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you're having a good day. We'll see you in the video later on. Thank you for all the bye likes, bye. the subscribes and support. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye bye guys.
Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Paradise Central. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.